I'll take that. Oh, great. Oh, great. I can't see a damn thing. He's not friendly. Welcome, stalkers, to episode 93, <laughs> Mr. Crow. Where my peeps at? This is your boy Blondie speaking. This is the Lone to Legend Crafting Challenge, and that was a call out to a game I haven't played in a long time. But God damn, it was fun. We are in the center zone, deep in the center zone. We are actually at the center of the center zone. This is the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Silhouetting against a misty backdrop morning. Look at this. Glorious. This is the northern Chernobyl nuclear power plant. There is a southern, which we explored last episode. We explored most of the north. There's probably only a few areas that we've got left. Hmm, potentially maybe down here. I don't think I explored this much. And over here a little bit, I think. Other than that, there really isn't much left here to explore, I don't think. And we are going to head, very shortly, up to the generators, which is the last overworld section we need to explore. I'm hoping that you can all see this not too badly, because we are... No, I suppose we're not too... B no, we're definitely running lower on batteries. How much is that one? 7%. Alright, let's unpack that. That's going to be useless. 12% in that one, 7% in that one. We'll top this one up fully. So really, we've only got two batteries left. We should be able to change that if we come across more peeps. Superman. Now what happens if I... This looks like it's potentially out of bounds. Yeah. I'm not keen to jump down there. I'm worried that weird crap will happen. Get stuck in there. Even though we just loaded in, we could just load out again and just reload. Anyway, hope you're doing well. That's a long way down. But we should be fine. Whee! Yeah, this suit is nuts. 95% on our Sega. I should really take care of our equipment. Where is our multi-tool? Yeah, that's looking a little bit scuffed up. Let's give that a little bit of TLC. Very nice. Last episode, just before we ended the episode, we got into a bit of a skirmish with a pseudo-giant and a poltergeist down here. So, I'm anticipating that there aren't really any threats around. Shouldn't really be attacked by anything or anyone. Unless people are traveling. But I mean, really, there's, as you can see, there's not much here. There's the carcass. So, I mean, we can just check around these tankers. I'm really not expecting there to be much here. This is all just open eye candy be good in like warfare mode if you had you know squads cruising around and tactical combat this would be a pretty awesome area actually to have a skirmish but not for this series and not right now see he was not a happy camper this guy not happy at all actually ate a few rounds to the face not the tankiest pseudo-giant we've seen, obviously, but... He still didn't give up without a fight. And the other thing that I saw, too, is someone mentioned... By someone, I mean, in our messages. Someone had mentioned that there was... Uh, where are we if we scroll down? No, it's only going to be this session. Someone had mentioned that there was potentially an emission coming soon. 
within four hours it said, and that was probably a few hours ago, so... I don't know what that means for us because we really haven't seen any emissions or size storms since we've since we've hit the proper north like Pripyat and outskirts there's really been nothing nothing's happened so I'm not sure what's going on there I'm actually thinking my game might be bugged what the hell like I said I would like to go down and explore this area down here real quick like This building up here, I think it was this one. That was the biggest surprise. With Monolita crawling around it. There's clearly some sort of mission that you need to do up there for one of the factions. That was interesting. There we go. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Still, not as much resistance as we would normally want few bodies to loot but that was all but they did give us some pretty good stuff actually we got a bunch of upgrade kits and we're carrying it all with us now right so look at all this stuff actually can we combine these we can there we go make things a little bit easier on ourselves just a touch down here. I was hoping there might be a cluster of anomalies, but there's nothing. This is all visual fluff. So, with that out of the way, let's get into the generators. The very last overworld section we have left to cross off. Hmm, is that a thing? I heard a lurker. seeing anything. Sometimes you do get those atmospheric noises, they're not actually a threat, they're just, even though they sound like the real deal. I don't know if you can hear it, but there are voices everywhere now. You can hear these strange ethereal voices. Got anything here? That's the other thing too, we haven't really seen any stashes or anything here. It's kind of empty. Okay, just random holes in the architecture stuff, not loading at range. Let's get into the generators. Alright, so this area I haven't been to much. I think I've only been there... I've only been there once. Really, and that was to do the main missions. The story missions. I do remember having a nasty time with burners and all sorts of weird anomalies there. There's a massive concentration of them, so this is going to be something else. It may have been worth going back to get some of our gear. That sounded like a thing. Alright, so this is our exit point. I'm just going to drop a stash near this tree. Before we do anything else. Because we're probably going to need to come... Oh no, my backpack is all the way back. All the way back at the other pack. Oh dear. We're running heavy. I'm going to anti-climax y'all. If you want to skip this stash relocation, taking all this junk back, uh, I'll leave a timestamp in the description. Just wanted to tease everyone. No, I didn't really. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. Well, you can hate me. I don't mind. Such is life. This would be a good spot to drop a pack or something and create like a travel point. 
This is such a huge area to traverse north and south. And as far as I'm aware, there are no shortcuts, so we have to go around the long way. Tell you what we will do though, we'll see, we'll keep an eye out for Monolith on that little um, plateau just near the entrance. If there's anyone there, we'll pop in and say hi. Seems like a perfectly fair thing to do. Now, don't know where this bloodsucker is, then if you guys remember, that we heard a bloodsucker as we came into this area. And uh, he never materialized, never appeared. So, would not be surprised if he tries to ambush us at some point. I think we're pretty well ready for him, I think we're okay. Tell me what we really need to do though, we really need a caffeine pill. Just a little pick-me-up, doesn't have to be huge. Still not much going on here. And these areas are so open. Now we're also keeping in mind that we will need to sleep at some point and we have no sleeping bag. So that will also be a thing we need to juggle. activity here at all. Not even Monolita. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's something. Is that something? Or is it just this bush? Is this bush freaking me out? I swear it looked like something. <laughs> kind of looked like the silhouette of uh, another Chimera. Kind of freak me out. All right, let's go and see if we can say hi to anyone in here. Uh, can we? Please. Thank you. There we go. Now there is no other way up, so we kind of have to go around the outside of this wall. Which is a pain. I know. Not sure if there's anyone up here. Not seeing anyone up here. Does not mean much. It's looking pretty empty, actually. Well, that's slightly disappointing. Hey. Can't really roll out a welcome mat for us, can they? It's just not hospitable at all. Disappointing. Never mind. We'll head past the other entrance and see if we can get into a scrap there. At this point, I'm more than happy to just take a few extra guys down, try and farm some gear, run our way back to the stash. So, ooh, now it's foggy. We're a long way from help, too, if something happens. A long way from cover. 
long way from everything. I don't like it. I just think it's really strange too that we haven't seen we haven't seen any emissions. It's it kind of has me a bit worried because it means that the anomaly clusters that we see they won't regenerate artifacts. That's primarily how they regenerate artifacts. And um, if we don't get emissions, if we don't get psi storms, then we don't get artifacts, which is very very strange. And we're looking down there. Can't see anyone outside. Should probably take a bit more caution. Um, still not seeing anyone. Alright, we're hungry. Let's grab some biddles. What do we got for biddles? We've got Chucky Walkie. And with Doisty, of course we are. We can fix that. Okay. So I'm not seeing any Monolita here. Guarding outside, which is fine. does not mean that there are not monolithic around. I would be really surprised if these guys hadn't repopulated. Really surprised. Let's pull out a shooter, a proper shooter. Let's pop on a light. Yeah, okay, I actually think we're good. There's not much here. Weirdness. Weirdness. Or are we just going to get shot in the back again? <laughs> like last episode. That was so cheeky. This is the other thing that um, uh, emissions and size storms do. They kind of refresh the spawns of some particular enemies like you know you'll see zombies after an emission and I think there's probably also like a passive mutant spawn as well they just kind of refresh and revitalize the environment and we're just not seeing any of that at the moment at all you know I'm just gonna I'm just actually gonna check real quick uh, I think it's under gameplay was it the zone events emissions every 12 24 hours yeah I haven't changed any of these settings I don't know maybe it's a function of being this far north just to let you explore but man I miss the tension of walking around here with emissions oh wow We wet. Oh, you can still hit me from there? Serious? This is why I hate hiding behind these things. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna need some size stabilization. What do we got here? That's Vinka. So that's psychic resistance. We actually need to restore Psy. Uh, I'm not actually super familiar with Psy restoration for a lot of this stuff. It's resistance. Don't know that we have a huge amount of other stuff which is going to help us, really. Yeah. I suppose we have 
What have we got here? That's resistance to... I don't think any of this stuff is going to help. We may just have to take it. Much as I hate to admit it. Oh wow, we got snorks here. Who was this? Who did this? Nothing. Oh wow, this guy's got a few things. This effect will go away shortly. I do apologize. Definitely was not expecting him just there. It's just about to stabilize when it gets close to the top. Close to the top of your psychic energy stuff. Alright, let's mosey on. Come on, man, clear up the view. It's making me sick. Force of will. That's a little bit better. It's stabilized. Of course, when your view gets fuzzy like this, it can make spotting anomalies really hard. Which is not good. Almost fully restored. We're just about... We are just about there. There we go. That's better. But man, that took a long time to recover. Lucky he didn't hit us twice. That was unexpected. Okay. This is our stash. There are many like it, but this one is ours. Let's pop this stuff back in. All of this good stuff can stay. There is... My god, there is a lot of stuff in our inventory. That is nuts. Alright, we're definitely going to grab that artifact and bring with, because there's going to be all sorts of fun times to be had soon. going to grab some water as well. Pop all this back. We don't need all of that. That can stay. Uh, what else have we got here that can stay? These can stay. That can definitely stay. Holy crap, we got a lot of these. Damn. Yeah, cool. Um, now, we don't have many sniper rounds, so let's grab a few more of those. Alright, we're pretty low on... I was going to say we're pretty low on buckshot. We're not actually. We're doing okay. What's that? Electricity just started buzzing and it wasn't buzzing before. Why? Why did it do that? We probably don't need quite so much of this. Alright, here's what we'll do. Separate. And we'll separate this one as well. Alright, so what I've done is i split it in half. We'll keep one here, and we'll keep... So, the one in our inventory has two uses, and the one in my inventory has two uses. So, one in the pack has two uses, one in my inventory has two uses, sorry. Words. I can speak words. Got a grooming kit, which is cool. We probably don't actually need that if we've got the Swiss knife. Um, what else have we got here that we need to leave. I think that's about it. We've got 
I might actually bring another LLMC, just in case. And of course we need the backpack. Okay, I think this is good for now. Bandages. Yep. What do we like for batteries? Those are the only ones. Okay, crap. Alright, I think this is good for us. I think this will... This will do us. Let's go. Let's get it on. That wasn't there before. That wasn't there before. Okay. Perhaps further south an emission has actually occurred, but for some reason they're not working here. I don't know why. I don't know why that's a thing. That's why the electricity suddenly started buzzing over there. That's why I heard it. Anomalies have changed. The positions have changed. See, this is here before it was here along these pylons. Alright, that's weird. It kind of confirms that, I guess, maybe emissions are actually happening. Perhaps. Could also explain why that controller had reappeared. Potentially. Although, no, I swear, I swear that anomaly back on the bridge was along the pylons and not in the middle of the road. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on here. If you guys have experienced stuff like this before, uh, let me know. I just remember that when I was playing this area in story mode, <laughs> I got stuck in the northern area with an emission about to hit with a buddy in tow, and the first time I tried to make cover, it, it didn't quite work out. We got neutralized. Um, and the second time, because I knew exactly where I needed to go, only just made it to cover. That's how far out of cover we were. It's just about to head into the generators, basically. Um, for, the, for the first time. So, that was a thing. But there were definitely emissions during the story mode. So, I'm not sure what the deal is here. Maybe it's different for free roam? Not sure. But as we've seen, the anomalies have now just changed, so we also need to be careful of that too. What is the time? Let's see if it's baked into a time. Seven-ish? No, surely not. Yeah, beep, beep, beep. Arsehole. So... What we will do is we will check a couple of the anomaly clusters on the way back to the generators. Just to see if we can confirm this theory that um, emissions are kind of passively happening, we're just not affected. For whatever reason. Because that is strange. I have noticed it more and more as more time passes and nothing actually happens. It's, um, it's kind of weirding me out. Thing. Not seeing any bad guys. Still no spawns. I am kind of amazed. Let's push in. Yeah, we got no one here. There's no one here at all. You okay. Sure, sure, sure. But what we will do is save. Brilliant. Did I check in the back of this truck? I swear I did. Hmm. You know what, we do actually have um, an anomaly cluster up here, so we'll head up there and have a check, see if it's refreshed.
if we can, if it will let us climb these hills. It should. I'm hoping it should. Yeah. We're good. Okay, let's see what we got here. Anything? Looks like it has moved a little bit too. It's moved a bit further this way. Whoa! That's like right up there. should be able to just go in this direction. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Could just be RNG. Luck of the spawn. We have a few more that we can check. And we will. I'll go, I'll go and check those on the way through. be nice to just see one artifact. It would give me some peace of mind knowing that artifacts were still spawning and, you know, stuff was actually happening. Because at the moment it feels like being here is just like a dead game. It's not, it's not refreshing anything. Barely any monolita. Which is strange. Like what, there were three, maybe four guys at that entrance? There's normally a lot more. Then again, maybe all of our work down south thinned them out significantly. Maybe they had to go and reinforce Pripyat after we assaulted it. Anything is possible. Now, let's see if we've got any friendlies up here. I have a sneaking suspicion there's going to be no one up here. Right. Yeah, there's going to be no one here. None of the fires are lit. There's no one here. Man, I do not know what is going on with this area. Whether we just <laughs> thoroughly broke the back of Monolith and they're just not respawning with frequency anymore because we just wiped them out. Like... Did we explore that cheap? Huzzah. We... I don't know if we did, but there's nothing there. Let's move on, peeps. Let's see if we can hit up one of these anomalies. So we'll check out this one first, the barrel organ. And then we'll check out this one. Just near the um, entrance to the generators. See if we can get ourselves attacked by a bloodsucker as well. Maybe he's disappeared. Maybe he only comes out at night. Makes sense. It was around here that I heard the noise. Yeah, he is gone. Baby, he is gone. Alright, so it's just down here. Such a large area for not much going on, really. I think. Alright, let's go and check it out. So it's still here. You can see it bubbling away. And you can also see that there's really not much going on. There's no spawns. There's nothing here. I don't normally expect these, I don't know about the spawn rates, but these don't seem to spawn, chemical anomalies don't seem to spawn artifacts as often, I've noticed, as other types of anomalies. Could just be me. 
Oh wow, okay. Alright, we're gonna get to some cover. You lead the charge, that is perfectly fine. I will take you down. Was there another? So, a mutant did spawn. Glad that it was just a side dog and nothing else. Okay, we got doggy doggies. Alright, we got them all. Probably need to repair our shotgun very soon. Which is fine. Yeah, alright. If it's just dog meat, I'm not going to bother. But the other stuff will sell pretty decently. There we go. Nothing. Cool. Alright, well if the doggies have respawned, at least things are actually happening. So that's good. Probably means we also need to be a little bit careful. You know. Alright, so we're just going to head back up to this acid trolley anomaly. And then we'll head up into the generators. And hopefully that pseudo giant hasn't respawned. It would look like this. Uh, Judy, everyone on the parade grounds on the double. We don't have that problem. We are not a member of Judy. Does anyone in the comments here like playing as Judy? Someone tell me. I've never actually tried it. What, what are you? You're just a bush. Okay. Alright, we should be coming up on this anomaly cluster soon. Kind of keeping an eye out because if we got one mutant spawn, damn sure there'll be more. Okay, pretty much just have to follow this train line. All right, so this is it up here. So it says I can't actually see anything at the moment. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is, just in front of us. Man, you can barely see anything, hey? can just see the haze. I think as long as we stay on this side of the tracks we're okay. I think. But once again, there's really nothing here. Can we sneaky breaky up through here? You can see there's nothing here. It is another chemical anomaly, so... May not necessarily mean anything. Is this us down here? I think this was us. It was. Alright, let's go. Looking pretty squeaky, so round two at roughly 40 minutes. Let's give it a shot. Bam. Probably should have done that near the end of the last episode, but that episode was already quite long, the previous episode, so. Do apologize for anyone who didn't want to see that. Alright, 
Back to the original plan. We're going to create a stash under this tree. This done with feeling. And I don't think we're going to dump too much here. Really just the dog parts. So. As you can see, generator has quite a large area. I think... I think there's like an anomaly, a massive anomaly in the center here. I'm not actually completely sure. Like I said, I haven't explored this place a huge amount. The only time I've been up here is um, during the story mode. And we have the monolith wall lab entrance here as well. Now, as I also said before, there are anomalies everywhere here. I'm talking like burners. I'm talking... Actually, what do we like for... What's this like? Okay, so it reduces ballistic and impact resistance. I think we're just going to cruise around and as we spot weird stuff, we're just going to... It's like a random outhouse. Yeah, there will be weird structures and things everywhere here. Okay, we've got some pills. And that's a burner. Far out, I didn't see that. Did not see that. Was not expecting that there. I don't think I'm going to like this area. At all. What the hell was that? You hear that? I heard something. Alright, well if this is the way we need to play it, let's take this out and put this in. We need something. We need some sort of booster. You look at it, this whole room is just basically a burner anomaly. Fuck you, game. <laughs> really? Um, what the hell was that? What is over there? Okay, so there is potentially... There is something over there. Can I get through here without getting crisped? Please? Is that just a rock? It's, it's a weird looking rock. Alright, let's grab the pills. Let's continue. Look at the burners in this place. Look at this man, this is ridiculous. There's another building there. Is this actually telegraphed anywhere? Can we actually see these on the map? Yeah, we kind of can. This is like a burnt out farmstead area, I guess. This is freaking nuts. That looks like a bunker. We'll head down and explore that shortly. I just want to go and check this place out. This is exactly what I'm talking about with the burners. Jeez, this place makes you paranoid. These random burners sneak up and stalk you. I got hopeful there. I thought maybe we could... This might be a place that we can come to bug out. Is this... Is that just an empty tin or is... Is that a collectible that's stuck in the ground? Some food. Interesting. Alright, we go on... Go and explore. I 
good fire. We're taking it nice and easy, nice and slow, because as you can see, there is so much cheddar here, and it's so easy to walk into something nasty. There are anomalies everywhere here. It's like someone just threw a fistful of anomalies into an area like, have this. Fuck you. I don't know if there's anything here. Nice vantage point though, this will give us some idea of what's going on. So we got some anomalies over there. This is the big central anomaly right over here. Okay, we got more of it over here. Look at this. Look at this shit we got. Yeah, there's one up there as well. This area is full of them, man. I do remember just walking into so much random crap when I went through here. And to top it off, there's Monolita, there may be some Sin here. Like it's, there'll be mutants. Definitely be mutants. It's just a bad time all around. And that's the thing here too, like the combat... The combat kind of changes here a little bit, because you can't just go running around. So it can get kind of rough. What is that? Okay, it looks like someone's tried to survive down here. Yeah, okay. Now, it will also mean that save points are going to be... What is that? That might be something we make our way towards. It looks interesting. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I think I know what that is. For all the peeps who played story mode, you probably know what it is too. Even stepping into this area, even though I can't see any anomalies, makes me super nervous. I got down here anything? Nothing. Oh shit, we got a random controller down there. He's just chilling. This cannot pass. Tanking him, Jesus man. Took three headshots. What the actual hell was that? Alright, we're moving on from this location. That's the other problem with controllers. Just running to random cover can get you killed. In this area. I do not like this at all even. Not sure what's in this direction. Could potentially go up and around. Yeah, there's nothing here. I'm just gonna walk through whatever the hell this is. Man, that water. Oosh. Or texturing. <laughs> Alright, let's run a quick check along here. I don't think there'll be anything.
What is that up there? Just stuff. Okay. Thought I heard something. That looks like something up there. Look at the trees and stuff in this place. Man, this place is completely twisted. So we had burners all the way back at the start. Here we've got something a little different. We've got gravity anomalies everywhere. Something just triggered. Not seeing any. Oh, here we go. Oh, what the hell? Is that a side dog dragging away a bureau? That's hilarious. So here, here is this massive anomaly thing. We're definitely going to head over there and have a look. Yep, he's heard us. But it's okay because we are armed. These wide open areas, you just gotta be careful. Okay, we got another one coming. Who are you? Just a side dog, that's fine. take that. Oh great. Oh great. I can't see a damn thing. He's not friendly. some help. Oh my god, move, move. Where is he? Whoa, he's behind us. Move, why aren't you moving? Oh my god. I think I ran out of stamina. I wasn't even paying attention. Yep, this place is going to be an absolute prick. What was that? Alright, well at least we know there's not really much in these areas. So we can just kind of... Grab this and we keep moving. I think also we should change out to some actual good buckshot just because we have more of it. Now we've still got the controller down there who's wandering around. This place is a death trap. You know what, I think we'll just change this to full auto. That seems like a good idea. There is still a controller over here, and he's not... He was down by that tree, he's not appearing. Oh, great. Is that a doggo? Is that a doggo coming at us because he's seen us? Something triggered.
Alright, let's move on. Freaking Chimera knocked the gun out of my hand too. Like, so typical. Oh great, now we've got a pseudo giant. So the spawns have kind of reset. Turn back, come on. actually be able to recover him too. Yep, he's got some stuff. Uh, let's chuck in some regular buckshot. distance. Whew. Let me freaking out there for a minute. Now where did this chimera come from is the question. We can spot him first. Oh, that's moving. Oosh, so they must come down these lanes. There he is up there. Saw him. So he charged us all the way from down there. That is nuts. Alright, I really think there's only one way to handle this, and that's with a great big fuck off sniper rifle. Now, I think also what we're going to try and do, if we can, is get up on something. Just to make it a lot harder for him to try and pounce us. And of course, that relies on us being able to get up. Up, situto. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, so you can't clip off the edge. Alright. Just here. Hop. No. I don't think we're going to get enough momentum. Yeah, it might not be climbable. Okay. Um, I don't know another way to... If this blocked him, I don't know if it would, but if it did block him, then we might actually stand a chance. There he is. Is there another one? Did I see another one? Holy shit, there's two of them. Holy shit, there's two of them. Damn, no wonder. There's freaking two of them. Alright, that's just a... We're not going to waste this sort of ammo on him. But they did run around, so they didn't like what we were doing, which is fine. They may reset back to this hill location, which is... That would be the best case scenario. 
provided they are actually losing health. And then we could take another shot at them. Or they could have just run off and started attacking other things, like Monolita. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, Psydog, I think, has spotted us. Where did he go? He was there. Alright, well, those Chimeras have completely scattered now. I have no idea where they've gone. It's not really fantastic. What have we got at range? Got any anomalies or anything up here? Definitely misted this guy, right? Like, we actually, we actually hit him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, man, I don't know what these chimeras are doing, but they're not coming back. That makes me nervous. They could be anywhere now. God damn it. I think we shot them at a range that was too great for them to aggro on us, so they just kind of disappeared. <laughs> Probably means they've gone and attacked something else. Or, best case scenario, they got themselves stuck in an anomaly and died. It's a remote possibility, but it is still a possibility. Alright, let's continue. Is that one? Nope, just bushes. That's a... Okay, there's the Bureau. So, I reckon they feasted on him. And that's about it. Where did they go? Is that just the shadow that I saw down there? I think it was. What is that? There's another bureau. We were just over there. Right? Are these guys stalking us? What's going on here? We're supposed to be the ones doing the stalker. Alright, we got ourselves a side dog. That we can handle. Oh shoot. I see them, they're coming. They get ag aggroed off that side dog. Come on, come on, come on. Holy shit, these things are on fire. Like, on literal fire. If we stay ducked down, they may actually have a really rough time trying to reach us. Okay, I'm pretty sure we hit that one. Got him. Come on, you fucker. Where are you? The hell did the other one go? There he is. 
Did we get him too? I'm going to say he made the right noises. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. We got him. We got him. Oh, wow. One of these things was on fire. Whoa, look how much loot this guy had. Holy crap. Let's just lock these back in. Alright, well that's two chimeras, right? There could very well be more. But they did not like us shooting that side dog. That's why they aggroed. So that's why they aggroed the last time as well. You know, they would have had to have sensed that from miles across the map too. Like... Do you know what? I think we're just going to swap this out as well. What do you like for... You are 89. We need to fix you right now. Let's do that. 89 is going to have to be... Probably the Brunox. Yeah. Let's just take care of that before it gets any worse. Is that it? I do wish it would re-equip the weapon that you were repairing. Even if you just so that you know that it's done. Like, it's kind of dumb. Do you know what? With the chimeras roaming around, it's made me a bit nervous, so we're just going to rock a bit more shot that I can actually reload in without having to think too much. There it is, this thing, whatever the hell that is. There's a whole lot of bad vibes right there. Alright. <clears throat> Here we are. Entering something. It looks good. It looks promising. It would be even more promising if... that That's a way down. Why do we need a way down? Some basic tools. Very nice. Why do we need a way down? Can we? Or is this it? Is this... Goody, goody gumdrops. Another hole in the earth. Yes, please, give me more. Have I been down here? Is this part of the story mission? I honestly can't remember. Nice and easy. Don't want to run straight off the edge. I'm not sure if this is actually part of this. Yeah. There we go. And whoa! Off. Okay, this is a place. This is a place that makes me nervous. What is down here? Keep in mind that we have not saved. <clears throat> we killed two chimeras and we have not saved. down here. I do not trust what is down here. This may potentially take us through to the complex itself. Holy crap, that looks bad though. Look at this. Huh? Yeah, great. Right. 
this clearly goes somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised if this came out fairly close to the monolith wall lab. Where is this taking us? Let's have a quick look. It is, I think it's taking us pretty close. Right, I'm going to turn the light off. And I'm actually going to go back the way we came. See if there's anything further in here which we can use to save. Hell, I'd settle for a sleeping bag right now. got anomalies and stuff everywhere. What's this? That's just a massive plug. Let's go upstairs and see what's up here. Not much by the looks. Looks like a stash here, at least. Hey, we actually have stuff. Look at that. So I guess the other thing we could do to get around it is to head this way. That's burners. Look at this shit. say that maybe burn us all the way, but not so much. Should be able to get through this. That's more burners. Damn, this place is a bad time. Right? I have a feeling that this is all just going to take us into... If I point in this direction... It's just going to head straight north. Oh boy. This I do not like. We did catch a random controller down here. I think we can run past? Yeah. That looks like a silhouette of something. Okay, we've got zombies up here. Where is this heading us? Where is this going to bring us out to? Further into the mountain. Interesting. Okay, is that a dead end? Certainly looks that way. We're going to back up a little bit, and I think we're just going to use that pistol. Screw it.
Whew. Yeah, he's down. Down for the count. Alright, let's just reload this. Damn, man. See what we can get from these guys. Um, sure. I guess. How is our knife looking? It is looking a bit rough. After this lot. Hell of a lot of zombies down here. Guessing that controller was part of them. Overburdened now. This looks like a dead end. And I guess it kind of is. That's a long fall. Okay. Keeping in mind. Alright, we should be able to run straight through here. Cool. So these guys are all test subjects by the looks. Released from their cage. The controller was probably... That's that's dark, man. The controller was probably their master. Okay, here we are. We're getting pinged by bed. So this is where things get dicey. We may actually have to turn back. Because uh, I am not seeing a way that we're going to be able to... All right, we need to go. We need to go. All right, well, this was fun. This was cool. I liked exploring this little area. But we really need to go now. I'm just going to turn the light off. I don't think we need that anymore. And let's try and get through without getting nude. Freaking nightmare, man. What a nightmare. I would kind of like to see what's down here. So, I mean, there was this here. I realize that I'm pushing my luck here, because we're going to need sleep pretty bad soon. So, I think this is going to be one of those places we have to come back to. Much as I hate to say it. Boom. That is, of course, assuming that we can actually get out, so... Okay. Seem to be able to get out, so this is good. All right, let's switch out this bad boy for this bad boy. And let's go. Now, it's kind of a shame that we do need to come back. I really was hoping that we could find a fire pit or something. Just something to save at. There may be something over here. That may be the case. Um, but there's also a lot of anomalies between here and here. So we could also potentially luck out there. Okay. Let's just go. Okay. 
going to try and go the safest way that we can. Going to try and head back up this hill. Get back to our... Get back to our travel point. The stash won't be good enough. Jeez, that splash sounded like it was something else. Do just need to be cautious of controllers. There was that other controller on the far hill, which we sniped the first time around. Birth, thank you very much. Do you know what we will do? We'll swap this out just to give us a grace period. All right, so we're back to the original house that we first saw. Just gonna make our way back down the hill. Okay, here we are. This is us. Alright, what can we grab from here that we can take back with us? Where is my bag? Where is my bag? Did I set my I didn't even set my bag. Dumb. Could have actually done that. Going to do that now. Heat of the moment and all that stuff. There we go. Okay. We don't actually need to... Um, yeah, I suppose we could drop... Two LLMCs there. Let's go. Let's just get a save. Bang. I do apologize, we are going to have to go back. We're going to need to sleep. Really needed to grab a sleeping bag. I don't think it'll be necessary for our next visit. We should have enough time. Um, even if we take it slowly. But for this time in particular, we're just gonna do the needful. We're still rocking this. We don't need to rock that anymore. We can rock this instead. Sleeping requirements are just going to get more severe as we go on. And we do have a fair trip ahead of us. So really we're going to have to go back to... Going to have to go back to a place that actually has a bed. And we're not going to get shot in the face and the nearest place that's going to be is probably outskirts and the laundromat again I would say which is a long way to go back but is necessary we'll have a big long sleep fully rest up yeah, here we go. Just gonna have to lean on caffeine pills to get us back. There will come a point where they stop working. That's why this can be fairly deceptively dangerous. We're this far north, we've got no other alternatives. We've got no place to rest. It's, it's really dumb, I suppose, when you think about it. Like, you can't just lie down and have a kip somewhere. You know what I mean? Give us a good chance to stash up on ammo and stuff as well. So we might as well do a, a bit of a super stash run. We'll take 
as much of the gear from our stash as we can, and we'll bring it back with us. Which isn't going to be a huge amount, if I'm perfectly honest, but do what we can. So that's where I think we're going to end this episode. We're going to try and get back to Laundromat, get ourselves some R&R &R before we head north again. Swear that they weren't there before. We will also go and pay our friends a visit if they happen to be here. They might be here this time. seeing anything. Nope, we may be out of luck again. Well, that's fine. You can't say that we didn't try. Just we really did do a good job of wiping them out, didn't we? No one left. It is really strange, because normally these areas that monolith walking through here all the time, they're normally very highly populated. And again, maybe that was just story mode. Such a shame. But whatever is here will make it work. We've got loot, we've got all sorts of fun stuff to play with. We've got crafting material. We can look forward to all of this stuff in future episodes, once we get past the generators. It seems like there may actually be a bit of generators to explore. I was not expecting that, I was thinking mostly overworld stuff, but there does seem to be some underground stuff too, which is pretty cool. What do we like with our gear? Maybe we should just repair our knife real quick. Let's repair our knife. It's looking a bit roughed up. Boom. It's done a lot of work for us. We got a lot of good stuff. Those chimeras gave us a lot of loot. These chimera skins, they'll um, sell for a fair bit. We've got lots of claws, we've got horns. We've got pseudo giant stuff. We got all the stuff. Anyone on the horizon? Doesn't look like... Oh, there is a guy. I can see. There's a guy right there. <laughs> it's pinging off him. Let's have some fun. Been a while. Oh, there's two of them. Look at that. Okay, which guy is going to be worse off? This guy... Can I even hit him? Got him. Okay. Got a few rounds left. What was that? That's something shooting at us. Question is what and where and who? This guy. Kind of surprised that they take as many rounds as they do.
There will probably be more. I'm just going to swap out for the shoddy. Okay, so we've got a save point here, which is cool. We need Betty Buyers real... Whoa! He's down. Alright, let's take some more pills. Gonna need these. Do some quick looting. Real quick, like, grab all this gear. So, because of these guys, we may actually. Whoa, look at this guy. Nope, there's no way in hell we're leaving that here for someone. Take these. Okay. We got two more up here. Let's go and check them out. Okay, we got another guy in here. Come on, my dude. Now check them. He's not going to come out. Come on, let's do this then. You're not seeing him. But he's there, we know he's there. Oh wow, this is upgraded. Same for this. For those not in the know, we are disassembling these because if they're upgraded, they have a chance to drop their upgrades when you break them down. That is why we are doing this. Ordinarily, I wouldn't. Not for standard weapons. Alright, we're actually going to come up on these guys from this direction. Push in. God damn. <laughs> Did not expect those guys to be able to tank the shots that they were tanking. That guy took like, what, three shots to the face? Let's run a bandage. How are we looking? 94. 94 is not bad. Uh, you know what? We do actually need more shot though. Okay. So we got two arseholes here. Nope, we got three. Got him. Got him. Oh, I did not mean to do that. There we go. Let's grab much of this as we can. Sure, while we're here, let's just save. And how are we looking? Grab this grenade. Okay, so his buddy must have picked up his weapon for him. Okay, let's grab all of this gear. Some 
Matches, we'll grab that as well. Okay, we need water. Alright, we're good. This guy had a sniper rifle, could see that a mile away. Let's disassemble. And we'll disassemble you. Alright, so we are starting to get overburdened. In fact, I'm pretty sure, yep, we are. That's fine, because we do have a few options here. There we go. Just gonna grab... Just gonna grab some cover here. 93%, we can repair this. So let's do that now. Um, 5%. Alright, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. This is more like the reception I was expecting. Okay, we could actually use this. Yeah, perfect. That will get rid of the alcohol. Free up a bit more space, give us a bit more room to play with. Come on, bring up my weapon. There we go. Reload, please. Thank you. Alright, we're just going to combine a couple of things as well. So there are some things that we can drop here, like you can see that, you know, we've got... I don't normally carry the IEDs. They do sell okay. Should have actually left that back in the stash. Afterthoughts. Okay. They're all fine. Alright, I think in terms of equipment we're kind of okay for the other stuff. Yep. Seems good. That was something or someone. Come on, hip, hip. We'll definitely change things like the campfire distance, the usable distance. We'll probably bring that out to maybe 10 meters or something. Don't you dare. Don't you dare crash on me. Alright, there may be more Monolita up here. I don't mind burning a bit more thirst. Why, well, hello, friend. That's a fun time. May actually need to burn an energy drink or something next. Because we are pulling a bit of weight. I could also drop this IED. I'm really not in love with carrying it around. It is quite weighty, 1.89, and it's not going to give us a huge amount of cash, I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah, we'll keep you for now. Just because you may actually give us money. Alright, we're going to risk going this way, on the outside of cover. Keep in mind that we've run out of EpiPens as well. Get out of here. Get out of here. Man, we've got so many upgrades. Gonna have to prioritize what we bring back as well. The upgrade kits will sell quite nicely. So will the mutant parts and the artifacts. Might prioritize those over other things. But I want to make sure when we go out that we're not going out overburdened like we are now. I want to be able to sprint for long distances. So you can see that we're ooh, we're like five kilos over our acceptable weight. 
which is why we burn stamina so much. If you keep your weight down to, even if it's just in the yellow, it will burn stamina faster, but you'll be able to get a lot more mileage out of sprinting. You can see now we're kind of having to walk, sprint, walk, sprint, and even stop to recover stamina, which is a pain in the ass. Also means that if we get into trouble, we're not going to be able to maneuver a huge amount. We're just going to be burning too much stamina. Which is not ideal. And I'll tell you what, seeing as we go back to the base, maybe we will actually look for a sleeping bag and bring it north. And the off chance that we do actually need to sleep again. We do have a sleeping bag somewhere. Maybe an army warehouse. Okay. Man, this is nuts. Let's drop this. Doesn't help. I suppose it does a little bit, but still. We're overburdened. There's not much. Uh, is there anything else that we can drop to get rid of it? I suppose we could drop... Some of the mutant parts, like, you know, the dog meat and stuff. Doesn't weigh that much, though. You know what? This is all loot. It's coming back with us. I'm not going to be able to pop an energy drink until this pill wears off, so we just need to wait a bit. I think that's what we'll do next. Energy drink should give us a bit more of a boost, a stamina boost and a regen boost too, so that should be helpful. Then again, if we can get down to the stash, we'll just make our burden a bit lighter and we'll go from there, I guess. And we can also leave our sniper rifle here. There's no reason to bring that back with us. Ugh, sneezles. Man, we are burning so much stamina. Don't worry, we're almost there. We're almost at the stash. So many anomalies here now. I can hear them all around me. Or maybe I'm just paying more attention. Alright, this is the tree we need to get to. Right in front of us. This one right here. So immediately we can drop this off. And we're already in a much better position. We have about 4 kilos to play with. I would like to bring this stuff back with us. Okay? Because this stuff... It sells well. 60.2, so we're just on the threshold now. Um, this stuff can stay. How much are you? You're point 0.9. That just pushes us over. So this is... We're kind of going to have to balance. We don't need to bring this. We don't need to bring this. So that can free up a bit more space. Okay, so that lets us bring back all of the upgrades. We can bring back this empty with us. That will sell. I think the mutant parts will also be quite... Oh, I don't need the boots. I don't know why I brought those. Where's the boots at? Where you at, boots? Where are the boots? Where are you? Hello? There they are. What the hell are they doing up there? Um, These are quite weighty. This isn't super useful right now. We can put that back. Artifacts, 1.3, 1.7. Let's grab both of those. Put these back. I'm just going to put these parts back. So we are kind of juggling a little bit. I realize I just want to see how much of this we can bring back. 60.3. All 
Alright, what stuff can we leave behind here? We can leave this and this. Uh, we don't need this. We can leave some nades. We can probably leave these suppressors. We really don't need to bring them back with us. I had a few more. I swear I had a few more. They can stay. These can actually stay, the industrial grease. Okay, 60.3, that brings us just at the threshold. However, if we popped an energy drink, that would actually... There we go, bandage. I think that's our game plan. All of this stuff. That brings us right to the limit. Okay, and we are tired again. I was going to say, it's going to be sad when we're not able to keep our sleep at bay much longer. Words, I like the words. Let's have some water, they help with words. If you don't like the stash relocation stuff, then you can probably skip this section. But I mean, technically... We are trying to survive at the moment. We should be fine. We should be able to get back without a drama. But it always makes me a little bit nervous. Okay, so we just spawned in. I'm not going to bother saving. We are going to go around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. Chick chick ball. Chicka chicka chick chick ball. Alright, let's get out of here. Not going to go searching for artifacts in that anomaly cluster. No, sir. We haven't hit the point where the pills have stopped working, so that's good. But we will. We will hit that point soon. Nice and slow, so we got a couple of bros down there. <clears throat> Can we come out without getting shot at? If we're moving nice and slow, this guy might spot us. Yep. Oh, great. That is not what I was hoping would be there. Let them fight the pseudo-giant. He's right behind us. It's fine, because we can get out of here. Assuming we can walk. Thank you. Ow. Brilliant. He was right behind us, too. He wanted a piece. Ah, get you some. Not much further to go now. We are almost there. And in fact, based on the stuff that we have, we can probably sell a lot of this gear. Uh, I think this is the only one we really need to keep. Everything else can go... This stuff will keep. We can take all of this stuff back and sell them with the ecologist for a really decent profit. So I think what we'll do, we'll go and visit the Mercs. Seems like a good idea. I'll try not to get shot in the face by... Yep, there's a guy there. Who are you? Guarantee you he's not friendly. Oh no, he is. Who are you? Who 
Who are you, my friend? Hey. Hey. He's a free stalker. Привет, брат. Look at this guy. He's got all the goods. I'm glad we cleared the way for him. Let's just get our gear done. I think with all the mutant parts and artifacts and whatnot, it is worth a trip back to Jupiter. Can sell all of this stuff off. We can even just try and range a bit further abroad and figure out where I put that damn sleeping bag. I've got a couple stashed away, I know I have. That is my own fault for not being prepared. Let's put on a light for you guys. Boom. Let's put on a proper light for you guys. Boom. Okay. Alright, we got zombies roaming around out there. Let's sell this stuff, we don't need it. Pretty sure we don't need this one. Four of these, holy crap, man. Look at that, 13,000. Brilliant. Boom. And we do actually need another one of these, so I'm going to grab one. It actually wasn't too bad a price, 23. It's not bad at all. Okay, we're hungry. Let's grab some food. What did we get in the way of food? We actually have a lot of these Aqua tabs, and if you look, they actually replenish 202 cals each. So, yeah, we we'll use one of those. What have you got on you? Have we got anything that we can trade with you? Alright, so we're kind of reaching a point where holding on to this other ammo really isn't going to benefit us. I'm just going to start selling it. This I'll keep, though. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You are poor, my dude. You are... He has a sleeping bag. <laughs> he has a sleeping bag, but we have to be able to craft our own sleeping bag, so... Who is that out there? Okay, these guys are freaking out. So, it's not friendly, whoever's out there. Monolith. Alright, we got Monolith kicking around. That was right outside. How the hell are you supposed to see anything in this cheddar? This guy could be anywhere. Honestly. Or he could be over there, you know? We're going to keep pushing on. They're at the supermarket. I didn't think Monolith attacked zombies. I thought they were in the pocket. We don't care, we're going to keep going. Yeah, I knew he was going to shoot at us, I don't care. Gonna keep going. If we get a clear shot at some enemies, then we'll take it. But I just want to get back to the laundromat. And in fact, I may actually <clears throat> gear us up for a run at the beginning of next episode. We'll do like a... Um, do like an artifact slash that's a monolita yeah man that's miles behind us whatever it's gonna say if he was right on our tail then sure There's actually more monolith activity here than there is right in the middle of... Right in the middle of Chernobyl. Heard a lurker. There he is. Hmm. 
They will spot you from insane distances. This guy might be coming our way. No. They also look like chimeras at a distance, which is really kind of freaky. Very easy to mistake the two when they're like coming right at you and about to pounce. Very easy. Okay. Made it. Made it back. Whew. Man, what an episode. Alright, we have a bit more weight to carry some stuff with us, so... Let's just figure out the stuff we want to sell. I'm going to take all of this. Now, we do have a general trader that we can sell to as well, so... And we have some stuff to put in the stash. Let's figure out the stash stuff. Damn it, we still have this one. I forgot about that one. Um, gun oil we need. We need batteries. Holy crap, we need batteries. Uh, we do need some of these. Just figuring stuff out here, peeps. I am sorry. Let's grab these. This needs to come back with us. Uh, what do we like for the other gear? We can sell all of this. That's fine. Anything sellable I think we might as well bring back with us. That can be sold. These can be upgraded. We will actually take these with. We'll use them as part of the... Um, upgrade stuff that we're going to do in the upcoming episodes. So, I was going to say, in that vein, we might as well just begin taking all of this stuff. Headlamps, boots. We can max out here. We can afford to. Oh, what else can we grab? Syllables. Yep, I think that's about as much as we need to grab. I realize that we can sell all of this other stuff as well, but holy crap, we're completely loaded up with gear. So, let's just run with what we got for now, okay? Now, we did get some parts off of some of those weapons, and I didn't... I forgot that we were looking for parts for this too, so... Alright, let's go and chat to this guy. We're going to fast travel to Jupiter. There we go. Indeed. Let's go to... Let's go to Jupiter, my friend. Um, it is Jupiter we need to go to. Yeah, it should be. So we burn a bit of cash doing the fast travels, but it does save us a bit of time. We definitely don't have the time to be doing it this episode. We're almost at the two hour mark again. Not deliberately pushing the two hours. Once upon a time, I used to try and hit the one hour mark for each of these videos. Once upon a time, I remember those days. Okay, so... I think before we start the next episode, what we're going to do is we're just going to drop off the stuff that needs to go into the stash. So that's going to be these, it's going to be... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What else are we going to... These, okay, they don't actually have batteries. These we're going to keep. Um, actually, some of these are going to have... Let's grab these, because we should be able to talk to the technician about getting them unlocked. Which would be cool. Start from the top. Da -da 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 -da. What do we need to keep? Let's chuck that in there. Alright, these lamps are good for creating headlamps from scratch, so we're going to keep those. Alright, the rest of this stuff, all this electronic stuff, can go in there. These are sellable, so we'll sell these. The food is sellable, we'll sell that. These... Alright, so some of these may be encrypted. That may be the way we go. Let's do that now. I'm okay to let the sleepiness kind of run up. Because we're at a base and it's not going to be a drama. 
Okay, let's give you stuff. You know what, you can take these grenades too. I don't need them. Uh, what else are we going to give you? You can take that for sure. You can take the journal. You can take the explosives. Uh, you can take the food. We don't need those. See, they actually sell quite well. You can take the boots. Don't care about those. Could potentially make a sleeping bag. I think we have the recipe for that. I will double check. Okay, yeah, we're looking pretty good for everything else. I think that's... Hey, sell. Alright, I think that's everything to sell. Bang. That's money. Into pocket. He's even got a grooming kit. I'm going to grab one. Because they are super cheap and they will help in dismantling a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, are you going to be able to help us? No. No, you're not. Why? Do we not actually have... It is. So what the hell? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so there was only one that was encrypted, apparently. And it was this one. And we got a stash. Very nice. Alright, let's unpack the batteries on this one. And we also gonna check out this one. Huh, okay. Let's unpack the batteries on that one too. Cool. Excellent. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So we got all of that stuff. Actually, we need to talk to this guy, I think, if we want the bench. Um, no. Apparently not. Does he have to be in here? Or are we already using the bench? We are. Okay, cool. I don't know why. I don't know why we're doing that. Sleeping bag. We need mil-spec textiles. We need two backpacks. That's going to be a kicker. We don't have two backpacks. Alright, so this alone kind of rules out this build because the backpacks themselves... Oh, we may have some of this, actually. Don't know about these ones. I don't know if we have enough. Huh. Yeah, look at this. We're missing the engineering manuals. They're the ones that are killing us. All right. Because I'm pretty certain if we check the stash. Oh, we do have a sleeping bag. Yes, baby. Brilliant. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, you know what? Let's grab all of these as well. I'm just going to unpack some of these batteries because we are a little bit low. Yep, what else have we got here? We'll do it to all of them, might as well. Okay. Brilliant. That was a weird sound. Thank you. Alright, so this is geared us up for next episode. We've got the sleeping bag, finally. We... Do we have any more ammo here that we can bring with? Probably not. Alright, so we're pretty well positioned. Gonna grab this. Do we have any drinks? I'm just gonna go up and grab some more drinks from Bartender up here. Oh look! Indeed. Let's grab both. Done. Okay. That is us for the episode. We really, really need sleep. Thank you very much for watching. 
do the socials. I'm on Twitter. I have a Discord server and I have a second channel called Hey Blondie, which does long form video game analysis. If any of that is your jam, links are in the description. Please do come over and check it out. And if you like this video, do me a favor, fan the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, drop into the comments, let me know what you think of the series, let me know what you think of Stalker Anomaly in general. Are you having fun with it? Are there things that you would like to see improved? There are plenty, I mean, this is not perfect. This is not a perfect game. There are plenty of things that could probably be improved, rough edges, but the game is really, really good where it is right now. I am very happy with it. Let's look at our stuff. We're at 530,000 rubles. We're, I mean, we've been top again for ages, but we're pushing our legend rank up into 32,000 XP mark. There is no stalker that's going to catch us. It's not going to happen. We are top and we will always be top and that is the way it is. It's like that because it's, that's the way it has to be. It's like that and that's the way it is. Very good. Until next time. Good hunting, stalker. <laughs>